Good afternoon, Poke Sports. Welcome to another VGC Battle Stadium Series 2 video bringing you a Tinkaton team. It has been quite a while since we played Tinkaton here on the channel. One of my favorite new Gen 9 uh, designed Pokemon. I know a lot of people were excited. Oh, new Steel Fairy type. And unfortunately, a lot of people were saddened by the fact that its attack status so bad. But Tinkaton does have a niche. And it's interesting to see that Pokemon like Tinkaton still can fulfill certain roles on certain teams at certain times. With this team, Tinkaton's whole purpose is to be a support mon. We have Fake Out, we have a Mold Breaker Fake Out specifically, so we can ignore things like Armor Tail and ignore things like uh, Queenly Majesty. We also do have Helping Hand, which ignores the gold, good as gold on Golden Go. It's one of the few Pokemon that can actually Helping Hand boost the Golden Go. On top of that, also has access to Thunder Wave for speed control. So that's what we're going to be trying today with the Tinkaton. I'm going to try to bring Tinkaton to every single battle that I could possibly bring it to. Now, unfortunately, this Tinkaton is not meant to do any damage. It is literally full support. So we're not even trying Gigaton Hammer here, but I guess <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Now, this team is by Nico Gaming. We'll leave a link to Nico's channel down below in the description. Does have his own YouTube channel. Does upload his own content. Did upload this team there. On top of it all... As we've already said, with Tinkaton and with Golden Go, they pair very well together. We have the Golden Go here with specs to do some high, high amounts of damage. We also do have the bundle that serves as another form of speed control on the team. We also have a Skeledurge, which I haven't seen in a very long time. But it's still very, very good into Dondozo. So if we see a single Dondozi on the other team, we're, we're going to go bring the Crocodile also, on top of that, we're running the Bax Caliber with Loaded Dice. I'm a new fan of Loaded Dice. I'm probably Loaded Dice's biggest fan at this point. I love Loaded Dice with Bonnet. I'm sure I'm going to love it with Bax Caliber as well. I haven't tried it yet with Bax Caliber, but I know it's already going to be a good time. Also, last but not least, another Pokemon that I'm a big fan of. The Great Tusk. But this one's a booster energy, speed boosting Great Tusk. I haven't tried this one out yet. It's only 12 attack because that's the, the, the lowest amount of attack you could have to where you under speed your speed by one or you under number your speed by one. You know what I mean? So that's what we're running today. I'm super curious. I'm just curious. I want to see how it's going to go. But anyway, if you guys are excited to see Tinkaton here on the channel, go ahead and hit the like button down below and subscribe to Pokesports if you haven't done so already as we stroll on past 20,000 subscribers. We're getting closer and closer each and every day. So thank you guys so much for all the support. I do greatly appreciate it. And with that said, let's get on to today's video. Well then, my opponent is rank 10. <laughs> I guess I've been doing pretty good on the uh, the ladder so far. Huh. Going against rank 10, rocking a very scary looking team. Also bringing the Bax Caliber, which is interesting. Bringing the Garganical, which is kind of scary. I don't really have a great way of dealing with Garganical. My Golden Go is my best way of dealing with Garganical here. I guess it could be worse. I think I'm going to lead Tinkaton. I could even lead Tinkaton back Skylbar. I think that's a pretty decent lead for me. My base concern is like that Arcanine right away. Okay, what if I do Tinkaton Tink and Great Tusk though? I don't mind that. So Tinkaton and Great Tusk. Bring Golden Friend in the back, and then maybe bring our back Caliber in the far back. Do we need a Skeledurge here? Because Skeledurge would low-key do pretty decently into this team. Grass Terra Torch Song. Yeah, I can maybe do some things here. The Grass Terra is a little bit iffy. I thought it was actually Fairy Terra. Never mind. Um, It's between Bundle and Bax. I think Bundle is the smarter play, so I'm going to go Bundle. There, there will be a time and a place for backs. Right now is not the time and the place. Right now against rank 10 is not the time and the place for, for the backs, but it's going to be a spicy battle. No matter what happens here, it's going to be a good battle, right? I'm sure that my opponent's going to take me to my limits, and I'm going to hopefully try to take my opponent to his limits as well. All right, Iron Hands and Flutter Man coming out as the lead. So they do have potential fake out here. But my fake out cannot fake out their fake out, which is kind of good news. This Great Tusk is going to get Booster Energy first, which means that neither one of their Pokemon have Booster Energy, or at least the Fluttermane doesn't. Okay, neither one have Booster Energy. Interesting. Great Tusk is Fire Terra. I could, I could take an opportunity here to make a very aggressive, but maybe a very mandatory play. Okay. 
I'm fighting Terra. Oh no, they, that's not good. Yeah, fighting Terra is not what I want to see. Okay, well, let's fake out here. Is my booster energy going to be enough for me to outspeed? I mean, only one way to find out, right? <laughs> Will the booster energy save me here? They're actually going to withdraw the main. Hold on, that's huge. Go into what, Arcanine? That's fine. I went for a high horsepower into that spot. Yes, I'm going to, you know, have to eat and intimidate, but... You know, it might be worth it in the end. It's not worth it right now, but I'm sure it'll be worth it eventually. If I can get a 2 hit KO here, that's kind of big. Big high, high headlong rush onto the Arcanine. Straight one shot it. Oh. Oh, so that's what we're doing. Well then. All right. That works for me. Got rid of an Arcanine right away. I guess the Tinkaton being on the field scared my opponent so much. So incredibly much that they didn't even want to stay on the field anymore. Um, hey, listen, works works for me. Um, I have Helping Hand boost. And another Headlong Rush for the Iron Hands, but Iron Hands actually might... Uh, might swap there. I could try to fire off like a Thunder Wave. No, I can't. I can't Thunder Wave either one of these. My brain's moving a million miles a minute. Let's see. I'm not going to Terrestrialize yet. So I want to save the Terrestrialization for the Golden Ghost so that I can go against the Flutter Mane a, a little bit more handier. All right, let's go for the Helping Hand here. And let's go for the Headlong Rush into Garganical. Hope it's not Flying Terra. It's most likely going to be Poison or Ghost. Both are at least neutral. All right, we forced the Terra on the opponent's side of the field. That's nice for me. It's going to be the Grass Terra. Perfect. I didn't target this. Oh, that's great. That means my bundle can come in and do some damage to this thing as well. Okay. Helping Hand boost. As long as Garganical doesn't protect, this is a lot of damage. Yo, Tinkaton's going in, baby. Tinkaton is going in. We're able to one-shot the Garganical, too. Yo. Okay, we got a severe lead against an opponent that is top 10 on the ladder. Drain Punch, that's not going to do it. Drain Punch ain't it. Okay, now my... My Great Tusk is not in a great spot against the main. I'm going to get a Thunder Wave off on the Flutter main and just protect here. I want to try to put myself, that's fine. I want to try to put myself in a position where I can outspeed the main later if I have to. I know my bundle already can, but I don't know about the rest of the team. And now that they're seeing Thunder Wave, they, they might be a little bit uh, cautious this next turn. Drain Punch, okay. So thankfully my Tinkaton isn't going to take a lot of damage there. And I should be able to just go for the exact same thing. In fact, I should be able to just double into the Flutter Man. That's exactly what I'm going to do. We'll see if I convince them not to go for Great Tusk. Never mind, they definitely went for Great Tusk here. But I don't think that there's anything the Iron Hands could do to one-shot my Tingaton. This, par this paralysis might be big later. Okay, cool. Flutter Man is now paralyzed. Drain Punch. Again, if they're going to keep Drain Punching, it is pointless of me to do anything else. Alright, here's the sauce. The sauce is Golden Go. They cannot Drain Punch me unless I Terrastalize. They will not... Ugh, I mean, they could Drain Punch, think it done. I might not even need to helping hand. I could just play rough here. Terrastalize, make it rain. Ah, oh, but then... No. No terrestrialization. No terrestrialization. Just a raw make it rain. They're gonna protect. Fine. That's still a raw make it rain that the Iron Hands has to eat. And if they tried to drain punch me, then haha. -ha, nice try. Let's see. 
This does mean that next turn, that does no damage. Wow. Okay. Maybe next turn, I need to I need to reconsider my options. Wow, that did very little damage. Granted, I didn't boost it at all. I could have steel boosted it, done all that, but oh well. Rip. Um, <laughs> that's not what I expected to happen, but it, it's what I'm getting. I think now I have to terrestrialize. That's a fact. And I have to Icy Wind. I terrestrialize, Icy Wind. Try my best. So let's Icy Wind here. Terrestrialize, make it rain. That was with specs last turn too. That's wild that, you know, hands is just not taking any damage to this. We'll see how this plays out. The Flood Domain can't protect anymore. Like I said, both of both me and my opponent are gonna take each other to each other's limits. This was gonna be a good battle, and right now I'm at the edge of my seat. We got a terrestrialize golden go. I'm negative one, but this icy wind does double connect. That is beautiful. Not doing enough damage to hands though. Let's see, can we do enough damage to the Flutterman to knock it out? I think we can. Should be able to. Nice, Fluttermane is gone, but the hands. The hands is about to get all of its HP back. That's, the, that's my next biggest concern. Oh no. They drain punch the bundle. Good. The bundle has a lot less HP than Golden Go, I think. Oh my goodness, that's still so much damage. We have to freeze dry. And we have to pray. This is now a single targeted rain, so that's good. Freeze dry. Let's see some damage. Oh, beautiful. GG. We're going to take a game from the top. 10 person in the world. <laughs> With a Tinkaton. We can't forget that very special fact. With a Tinkaton. Oh my goodness. Tinkaton of damage. Game is gonna end. Golden Go is gonna celebrate. So is the bundle. GG's, man. What a what a fight. What an absolute slaughter. Indeedy Armor Rouge. Fluttermane. Bundle. Great Tusk. Talonflame. That is three potential leads all next to each other. My opponent, Mastermind, is not trying to hide it at all. Uh, Tinkaton is actually not looking great in this matchup simply because Armors and DD kind of like throws me for a loop. Um, it's not looking awful either. It's just not looking phenomenal. I think that my best lead might be Tinkaton Bundle. Because at least I could fake out the Town Flame and then finish off the Town Flame with Bundle to stop the potential Tailwind from happening in case that's what they want to do. I have a feeling they're just going to want to go Town Flame Tusk. I don't know why. I just get that feeling. But it, this is actually a Backscalibur game. Might even be a Backscalibur, Backscalibur Skeledurge game. Kind of depends. Skeldurge is nice into the Fluttermain. It's also kind of nice into... Into the bundle, but only if I Thrastalize. Well, not really, actually, because it does have ice moves against me. I think I might have made a mistake bringing Skeldurge. But Skeldurge is kind of decent into the Trick matchup if they decide to do... Oh. It's Mastermind. <laughs> the old man. All right, what are you bringing? In Diddy Armor Rouge, starting it off right away. Not wasting any time here. Well, um, not gonna lie, don't love the situation that I'm in right now. I can't fake out, but I can helping hand. But I'm not quite sure what that does for me. These are not. These are not it. These are not the two that I needed right now. Okay, um. I'm gonna try to Thunder Wave their side of the field. And I think I'm just gonna go for the Hydro Pump. We'll see if they decide to Grass Terra or not, if they decide to NDD redirection. They are gonna Terrasalize something. It's probably gonna be Grass Terra. Well, if I can get a Paralysis. Oh, Dark Terra. Why? Interesting. I mean, I'm glad I hydro pumped. 
great damage, honestly. Oh. Oh, well, that sure is something. They almost, that almost didn't work for them, though. That's a Scarfed Drain Punch in Didi, by the way. In case you weren't able to tell. Scarfed Drain Punch in Didi. Because it outsped my Tinkaton, who's jolly. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, um, Listen, you do what you do. I'll do what I do. Um... Bundle should still outspeed? Hopefully. I really hope it does. We'll see, I guess. Wish me luck. Icy wind. Okay, that's fine. They're just gonna drain punch my bundle again. Oh, that's bad. Hey, listen, my opponent is playing into this. This is this is this is a best of one, I guess. Oh, they're not. I guess they're max speed. Am I is my losing my mind? Oh, I'm not max speed on the Tinkaton. Okay, never mind. I thought they were scarfed. I guess not. Is it okay? Am I okay here? Am I still sad? I think I'm still sad. I do have a plus two Skeledurge now, but uh, I can't go for the Eye Shard, unfortunately. I'm kind of still in a bad position. Especially if they're going for Heat Waves. Okay. Uh, let me just attempt uh, a move here. Still Terra is not the one I needed right now. Okay. Yeah, let's protect and see what ha what's happening. I don't know how I win this anymore, though. Like, real talk, I needed to knock out this Armor Rouge, and I just didn't. They're going for Expanding Force. I don't think I live this with the Skull Dirge. I could definitely try, but... Ooh, wow. Okay, I took that very well. Surprisingly well. That should be enough to knock out the Ndidi. I could have actually Steel Terra there. They might not want to fire move. So I should steal Terra, actually. I think next turn is the turn that I steal Terra and protect. And then try to smack this uh this armor rouge off the face of the planet. Float mesh. What's Flutter main? Yeah, we're definitely gonna steal Terra then. Protect. Steal Terra. I'm going to Icicle Spear main. I, I think they're going to protect. I think they're going to protect Armor Rouge. Just because they're trying to keep it alive. They know that it's the focal point on my side of the field. And I, and I can live another Expanding Force. Alright, there's my Skeletor's Protect. I'm assuming the main is going to Shadow Ball into the Skeletor's spot. Expanding Force. I eat this. Now, this all comes down to where is the main attacking. I don't eat this that well, actually. Wow. They just gleam. Okay, I should take a gleam. Get a pretty free Icicle Spear. Oh, they're a Life Orb. Wow. How many tur more turns do we got here of terrain? Because I have an Ice Shard. I would love to use it if I could. If this is the last turn, I win. If it's not the last turn, I'm in some trouble. Hot Differ. Well, they got a whole bundle left. World's fastest bundle. Yikes. I'm going to have to avoid a uh, Hydro Pump, too. Okay, my win con is now avoiding Hydro Pump, unfortunately. Do I need a double protect here? Just for the Psychic Terrain to go away. Uh, let's see what happens. I'll Torch Song here. I'll Torch Song into the bundle. And then protect. I need to avoid Hydro Pump here to win, though. 
Or hopefully they go into the back scalper spot with the bundle. That'd be even better. Nope. They don't. <laughs> In fact, they do not. Man, going against armors and drain punch and DD is what we're gonna go against in the water today. Okay, they just go for the heat wave. <laughs> How do I win? Do I even win? Can I even win? Is it even possible? Again, it comes down to uh, a miss from a hydro pump. It actually comes down to two misses from a hydro pump. So I need a ways to turn to Ice Shard first to knock out the Armourous that's been here for a billion turns. Maybe I should have taken the shot on the Armourous a long time ago. I went for the Fluttermane instead. All right, at least they don't protect them. I'm able to knock out the Armourous, but I, I don't know this bundle, man. I brought it down to one. At least I brought them down to one Pokemon. Oh. Hold on. We haven't lost yet. I just need them to miss another one. Am I PP stalling them right, right now with protect? Absolutely. This is for the PP stall. Hopefully they don't have PP ups. What can I say? I'm a jerk. <laughs> I am a jerk. All right, Glaive Rush. I need them to miss. An if they miss another Hydra, I win. Dang it, man. GG's. That was a good game. I had a chance there, and here's why. All I had to do was hit them with the Glaive Rush and then finish them off with an Ice Shard. A Glaive Rush would have brought, probably brought them down low enough to where an Ice Shard would have been enough, but ah, that was a rough one. I'm gonna take home a loss, unfortunately. It's okay, we got one more battle today. Let's see if we can, we can even it out. Whoa, this team is different. Sableye though, okay. Sableye, Scizor, Gallade, Fluttermane, Arcanine, and Vaporeon. I'm liking Tinkaton here. I'm also liking Bundle a lot. I'm not quite sure what they do into the Bundle matchup. Skeldurge Loki is, is looking kind of nice into that Scizor too, but it kind of depends on what they decide to go for with the rest of their team. I could also just go Great Tusk and then bring back Scalper, but back Scalper kind of falls to uh, to scissor so maybe it's a golden go time i do like golden go here actually we'll do that we'll bring golden go in the far back the only game we won today had a golden go on it that's a fun statistic to have so will the second game that we have today also have a golden go on it with a win you never know I'm hoping Ticket can do some things here. It's, it's definitely looking like it can. I don't see any psychic terrain on the enemy side of the field. I also don't see any uh, other things that would stop me from faking out. And also helping hand next to Golden Go is always nice. There's nothing on that team that resists a uh, a ground move either. So that's that's pretty decent. Did I bring Tusk? I sure hope I did. Because yeah, there's nothing on that team that resists a ground move. I can just kind of click helping hand and click great tusk until the end of time it's a very fast great tusk too so regardless we'll see how this plays out all right friend that hasn't even made a trainer card yet all right friend that only added glasses to his model and called it a day Gallade and vaporeon now i'm not sure what i was expecting but this wasn't what i was expecting so i'm gonna fake out one of these two I don't quite know what Vaporeon does. And I don't think I want to know. I think I just want to freeze dry it. It's a really nice shiny. I know that. I just want to freeze dry it. I, I'm sure it doesn't do much to my side of the field. I'm sure that I'm stressing over nothing, but... I don't want it here. I want it gone. I don't think my freeze dry is going to one-shot it, though, by the way. In case that wasn't obvious. Okay, they're just gonna hard swap it. Fair. I think there was nothing that wanted to take a, uh, a nice move except for Arcanine. And would you look at that? It's Arcanine. Well, here's the thing. I can use a water move now. <laughs> Regardless, I, I will still use the move. All right, the fake out, the freeze dry. I'm gonna chip it a little bit, actually. It's a pretty decent chip. And then the flinch. Now, that could actually be a trick room there. There's no way of me knowing. But I can still play rough into that spot. Could even water Terra Hydro. Do I need a Terra for anything else? Maybe Golden Go. Yeah, let me hold it. 
Let me hold the Terra. Just go for a regular Hydro Pump onto Arcanine. I don't actually need to go for the Terra. It would be nice if Terra like made moves more accurate. Imagine that. That would be broken. Yeah, thank God they didn't do that. Imagine like you could Terra water and then just all your water moves have 10% more accuracy or like 10 points in accuracy above what they used to have. That'd be wild. Don't let me design Pokemon, that's for sure. I won't know how to do it. Oh, an Archon with Protect. Okay. That's not that typical, believe it or not. Hydro Pump's going to go into nothing, unfortunately. Followed by the Sacred Sword. Into my Tinkaton, though. Okay. I get to keep my Sash. I I'm down for that trade. I did learn that their Gallade is faster than my Tinkaton, though, so that is not good news. But the Player Up's going to do a nice amount of damage there. All right. I can go into my Golden Go now, somewhat safely, just to preserve a fake out for later. And I think I'm just going to keep going for the Hydro Pump into that spot. What do they have there at the beginning of the game? Vaporeon, right. So maybe I should have gone for the Freeze Dry just in case they keep swapping there. That would have been the smart thing to do, Kevin. Maybe just going for a Freeze Dry onto the Glade to finish it off would have been fine too. Because it definitely feels like they're swapping here. Or maybe they just let the Arcanine go down. Oh, they actually swapped the Gallade. Do they double swap then? Or are they just letting Arcanine go down? Scizor. Okay. And my Tinkerton swaps. Goes into the Golden Go. Hopefully Arcanine didn't go for a fire move. And hopefully I just connect with Hydro Pump. Nice Terrasalize the Arcanine. Just going for a fire move. Oh my goodness. It's grass type, isn't it? What? Balloon type. Okay. I should have freezed. Well, now I have no reason not to freeze dry into that spot next turn, right? Never mind. I crit them and they're gone. That works for me. I'm I'm okay with that. I'm very okay with that. That is the best thing that could have happened to me, you know? Now, considering the fact that Vaporeon didn't just click protect turn one, I'm assuming Vaporeon doesn't have protect. So... That could just be a free freeze dry into that spot. Now, I don't think I want to Terra yet. With Golden Go, I think I just want to double the Vaporeon. I am putting all my money in the bank that this Vaporeon doesn't have Protect. All right, Bullet Punch. No Protect from the Vaporeon. So far, good news. Big freeze dry onto the Vaporeon. Ooh, great damage. I didn't even have to lock onto Thunder. That's my second crit. Yo, we're getting lucky. What can I say? We're getting real lucky today. Today is a good day to be Kevin. That is a fact. All right, unfortunately, Bullet Punch is going to hurt a lot, though. I'll be real. That kind of made me a little sad. In comes Gallade. All right, they're just waiting to Bullet Punch us again. I'm going to T-Bolt finish off the Gallade. And go into my Tinkaton so I can so that I, I can at least fake out next turn. I want to preserve my bundle if I can. My bundle of joy. My iron sack. I love it. Alright, back in the Tinkaton. Gonna get the mold breaker going. Not gonna actually matter with these two Pokemon on the field. Tinkaton might actually not take this. Oh, we do at six. Nice. Oh by night sludge! Oh, that hurts so much. Do we finish off? Thank goodness. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of damage. That was definitely a lot of damage. Now, if they're choice banded Scizor, they're in trouble. If they're not, then I think they're still in trouble because we could just fake out here, right? They could protect predicting fake out. Battle was canceled. That works too. That works for me. That definitely works for me. We're going to take home another win in today's video. Two wins, one loss with Tinkaton. I will take that, man. I will take that and run with it. Tinkaton was so much fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and get you guys that rental. And here you have the rental code for the Tinkaton team. I had a lot of fun with Tinkaton today. Now, I'm a little bit iffy about not running Gigaton Hammer, but I guess if you are running a supportive Tinkaton, do you really need Gigaton Hammer? Uh, don't get me wrong. Gigaton Hammer is a lot of damage, but the team already has Steel Stab in the form of Golden Go, and there's there's no there's no love loss with Steel-type damage when it comes to Golden Go. Like, 
Giga Ten Hammer might just be a wasted slot, especially if you can only attack every other turn with it, and you do need the Fake Out, you do need the Thunder Wave, and you do need the Help Hand. So I get what Nico means by like not even running Giga Ton Hammer here. The Skeledurge did okay in today's battle. Was really impressed by it. the Iron Bundle. Did absolutely phenomenal, especially the last battle. That this really did carry me to the end of the game. Great Tusk. Great Tusk is Great Tusk, man. I do like the fact that this Great Tusk is very fast. Um, I didn't really miss any of the attack damage that I would have been doing otherwise. I feel like the Great Tusk did just fine the way that Great Tusk did. Backscalibur almost did a thing today. A very... Almost. It was so close to doing a thing today. I was almost so very happy with that Pokemon. But again, we were going against some Armourous Cheese. Would that battle have gone the way it did had I had, you know, an open list on the field with all of the moves that it gets and the abilities and the typings? Probably not. I mean, I feel like I... I could have prepared myself a lot better for that had I seen it um, specifically with this team, right? But hey, it is what it is, right? It's ladder. It's best of one. We don't get a team sheet all the time. They decided to give, you know, Arm Rouge two amazing abilities that uh, do two very different things. <laughs> Regardless, this team was very fun. Make sure to check out Nico Gaming's channel down below in the description next to the Poke Pace and the Runs Code. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, hit the like button and subscribe to Poke Sports if you haven't done so already on a road to 20k subs. Anyway, I'm Kevin Sports. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. Peace out. Bye-bye.